Dubu has been relegated to four points, while Van Sickle is already in double digits with 11. But then we are only early in our second set. So, may oras para man si Chish Dubu, who, by the way, is not on the court right now. Uh, see Kate Verai step on the court. Louis Romero also on the court now. Go! Oh. Right away. Wow. That move brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. One more time on that. Double block. That's a good first ball by Bertolano. And that is a quick conversion. Taksit this time. Another one who's familiar with the Louis Romero title. Robles with three points. Romero go to Tubu from the middle. Bring Grandes with a dig. Chance ball for the Foxies. Taksip. Rodriguez popping it up. Ea. Oh, terrific defense. Trisha Ooh. Tubu. That was a solid block. That stops the two-point run at the crossovers. Six points ahead and only two points away from tying the count at once. That's a piece. Romero to Virai. Off speed. Naxina. Blocks. Meanwhile, Bertolano serving. It's inside. A nice for Eliza Bertolano. Again, it's just a one-point ball game. Timeout for Chocomucho. So these all scorers para sa solar spikers. Sa so una nilang laban. Rivera sends that one over. Makatuno dumps it. Luis Romero gives a chance ball for Capital One. Ball is still alive. Out of system play. For Capital One a while ago and Farm Fresh takes advantage of that one. Not their usual self, still trying to find their groove. As for Akari, they're moving with a lot of urgency in this game. First point, the gap is quite humongous. Second, not so bad. But third, here early on, we're enjoying one point lead for PLBT. Good coverage there by Santiago. Oh, wow, better defense from Catarado. But speaking of defense, had been met this time by Riza Cruz. We're in our second tie, 7 7. And then so many things happening here in third set. Definitely don't look now. Those uh, three touches. Trisha Tubu! That it's so fast. <laughs> that spike of the set. 18 points, putting her in the number five spot in the scoring category. All around scoring, and she continues to register those points. She's got three already. She has developed that five attack over time. And, uh, After five uh, straight losses, like you mentioned. And here they go on offense again. Quick transition there. Back to Tubu, who pounds on the pavement there. Chish is already with three points. Farm Fresh has been able to catch up. With a deficit like this, extending that first set like they did. Let's see if Creamline finishes things this time with Burden at Pons. What a solid two man block there. Lisa Cruz and uh, Kate Benai gagging up on Burden at Pons, closing out that zone one. I mentioned this earlier in terms of familiarity. Take a look, Vanny already with seven points. Very high efficiency in this match for Vanny, but I mean, smooth sailing coming from the side of Signal. Nope. Your point actually makes me think that this could be an effect as Chini Arroyo drops the hammer for Farm Fresh, uh, living up to it. I think that could be an effect of the addition of Don Makandili oh, yes. Coming from Santiago, no blocks yet for the crossovers. Laure pops it up for Galang. Galang with a push. Easy pick up there for Tubu. Santiago powers that one through. King Santiago with her second point of the game. Change of uh, players here for the Foxies. And Coach Kupu will call his first timeout. As... Nine versus Akari, 11 versus Capital, eight 
versus the Cool Smashers. And that was her third point so far, but Kate Veray as well, coach, has been hot hands in this game. Teams, was a big surprise. But this is the reason why definitely a big corner stone. And Jennifer Lebeshaw serving. Four point lead for the Foxies. Del Rosario goes to the pin, blocks. She goes back uh, to Melgar, but the far fresh Foxies. I mean, because of the great blocking, it's important that the Foxies maximize on that coverage. Good first ball by Soltones, but she is rejected. I, I got my welcome back to PBL <laughs> in my like left side of the head. It's initiation. You're not welcome a fan. Back. You're not part of the crew if you don't get that. Out here, as uh, Trisha Tubo gets a solid block against uh, PLDT's number one. With mental tenacity and self-belief. This report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. Now back to you, Denise and Anne. The points just they've uh, come to life. Yeah, she's going for a jump serve. Yeah, we're seeing good reception there. Cruz couldn't get that running attack going. And underhanded set there by Louis Romero. And now Chang going to the middle again. And here we see a very efficient score defense. A farm fresh. Kubo is timing it, and finally got a rally going. It was uh, probably the hardest fought point we've seen. Group in uh, Versaza, that's a good sign for the Foxes to start us off here this game. Good defense there, nice dig. And you highlighted Versaza, so she is also marked. Binabantayan din siya. And the strong defense paying off here. For and we like the libero's effort. That's a good save from uh, the farm friend. And that's a good slide attack. Nice pickup by Galanza. Thought Carlos from back row. That's the easy one for Farm Fresh. Oh, wow. Perfectly executed by Risa Cruz. Together yes. for the longest of times. You only see this in the men's game. Uh -oh. Yung double jump play na yan. Those are just funny <laughs> reactions. We'll gladly take it. Yes. And they do have a good cushion. Nice to see by Job. Oh, not the best of setups. An easy ball though. Job couldn't drop it. Here's the counter. Caitlin Virai down the line. The player here on the court, Louis Romero, setting her up perfectly. Again, she has the ability good. to rise up and get a side out when they need to. And Arroyo has been oh. very steady, as well as uh, their middle, their blockers. Itong si Tag Zip. Points when it matters to them. Kailangan nila ng lead. Virai yep. uh, <laughs> takes advantage of that over receive. And Liza Bertolano, that jump serve. Service ace. So the first set. Para sa Foxies, doon sa laban nila, laban sa Bull Smashers, winning that set 36-34. In this conference right. so far, yeah. so maybe this is the mix that can help their team today. Well, Gary and White and the Foxies in orange. For Farm Fresh, they're looking to build on that last win against Capital One. Both of these teams have also faced uh, the defending champions, the Creamline Cool Smashers. Right. And both of them won a set each. Yep, that was an intense match against the Farm Fresh Fox. 36, right. 36 in that one. That was a very long set that uh, happened. And speaking of teams that are really blending so well, it's yes. the PLDT high speed hitters. I mean, right now, they're 3 0. Uh, let's talk about, you know, former players who are joining. As they can be, as they can, and as calm as they have been playing. Uh, Virai will be giving that away. Paran! Oh! Great <laughs> blocking by Virai and Tagsip. Farm Fresh Foxies to also step up 
different rotations. Mm -hmm. And mukhang yun yung magiging discarte ni Coach Koji. It was surprising to see Isa Maizo not in the roster for today's game. But I guess he has other plans. Top 10 ka-ish. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, those are back-to-back -back placement shots from the Foxes. And again, a kill block on the left side. As she waits for her ACL injury to heal. See, uh, Ellie Casilag also part of Farm Fresh and that quick play, Tagsip, contributing now. Japanese system rubbing off oh. all the girls of the Foxies. Well, mabilis naman mabilis. na talaga mag-set itong si Louie Romero, even in her junior. Ria Meneses will be serving. She did have an ace already. Ball up for Farm Fresh. Arroyo, this time from the left pin, and that drops. Offensive position here for Chin Arroyo is much needed in the scoring department because... Chini Arroyo with the serve. Nabor, the back set. And Laure block. The terrific defense. Bertolano. On the, on the match. Laure was well read. Chase down continues for Kai Mukal and the rest of the Chameleons. Two point lead for the Foxy. Santiago tries with this one. A bump to Laxina. Red. A chase by the Chameleons before Fresh will get another point. The second straight time, this time with a bomb set. Cruz shutting down together with Gray, shutting down of Capital One. May with that service. Arroyo answers back though. The set is brought to you by Duncan. Kasalubong ng Bayan. Will be the one to serve for Farm Fresh. Oh! Going inside. All of a sudden, it yep. dropped. It dropped, yep. Outside. Biglan na leg-leg eh. Good serve by Jason. Back to the game. And in the previous game, uh, Pio was able to score any point. But, you know, as a starter, a better chance of her doing so. Able to sort of keep up now, finally. 3-5. For the Farm Fresh Foxies. Delerio to Bertolano. And now setting that up for Paran. Romero backs out to Trisha Tubu. Impeccable timing. That's why she got that defensive stop against Myla Pablo. And now they get an ace. The early in this tournament, naka one set sila against Creamline. Yeah. And of course. All of the potential we are already we've already seen from Farm Fresh. Kaya they have a lot that they are uh, anchoring on, and so much potential. Like Trish Tubu, there we know she was a star from her Adamson. Liza Valdez taking her first serve. Good first ball by Farm Fresh. Back row attack. That one is good by Trisha Tubu. Um, mastery. Kini Arroyo has been playing well lately, and now Trisha Tubu gets an ace. This is the best. Sequence targeting so that corner pocket of zone one. Vanny in three games on the crossovers. Romero, combination play, Santiago, and again, who's in the back row? And Ayalare with the dig oh. that just lands on the line. Great block. Divide, we talk about teams in the upper half and teams in the lower tier are trying to still chase those, te those teams in the upper half. Oh, that stops a good scoring run. That's the lead to three. Six. We check out that attack in this replay. Ball there with the serve. Tubu. Rondina goes up. Saved by Delerio. The push. Alba tosses it. Rondina again. What a save for Delerio. Free ball. Who will Mars give it to? CC again. Changing things up. The tip. And Cruz finding the open spot. There was a chance for Louis Romero to go for that top ball, but. Against Chocomucha. And we knew that because Nabangit nga natin at the start of the conference. They were able to play well against Streamline, able to beat Cherry Tigo. And they're showing out in this game. Rally continues, saved by Arroyo. 
Santiago, oh, almost, but not quite for Choco Mucho as we hear the support from Franny Reyes. Franny. And first point goes to the Foxies. Pag nagharap ulit sila, they will uh, have uh, their own countermeasures. Right, which will be uh, in the semifinals. And we'll see if there will be a rematch of the finals last year. But there's back-to-back -back points coming. That will be the first point of uh, Louis Romero of that power tip.